Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies Toothpicker <laughs> coming to you with some George Rackers. T. Stagg Jr. Why is it Jr.? Because it's not B-Tac. <laughs> I don't know why it's Jr. I don't know. I think, I think that's his name. I think that was George Jr. T. Stagg Jr.? Yeah, I think Jr. was the one that came up with it. His papa. No. This well, is we've his had, own bottle, Jr. Okay, admittedly, I had not had George Stagg Jr. And we fell into a bottle, basically, of the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, the George B-tack. T. Stagg, right. at 69.1% ABV, which was delicious. Probably the best bourbon I've had. Yeah, you were a fan Love boy. it. Your fanboy of the Stagg, b yes. So anyway, this had been on the on the shelf at the liquor store, and and uh, and I'd been thinking for a while. I loved the the B Tac edition. We need to pick this up and try it. Mm-hmm. Did not realize that this also is sixty four point eight five percent. Very high ABV. Um, Where's it at on here? That's the, like in another area. It always the buffalo. Me. The buffalo. Yeah, sixty four point eight five percent ABV, which is blows me away. Right. It's very um, strong. You get a lot of bang for your buck. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, we'll go into that, but yeah, I mean, from the, I, I was blown away, blown away by the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, George Stagg, and this for a $50 uh, bottle of bourbon. Yeah. Our notes are coming up. Right. <clears throat> now, and even you, admittedly, now every time I get on BART, because every time we review a bourbon, he goes, yeah, I'm not a bourbon guy. I'm gonna if I'm spending my money, I'm gonna buy a Talisker. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a you know, Lafroig. I'm gonna buy an Art Bag. And I go, well, what are you even reviewing bourbon? Now, for? first of all, you've called me a shill for Woodford Reserve and Wild Turkey. You, I believe. <laughs> well, Wild Turkey for sure. I don't know about. Well, that's because they gave me the truck and the boat and everything. No, they didn't really (laughs) give me that. But if they wanted to give me something that says, I don't care if you do the whole logo painting along the truck with the boat, I'd drive it around. It's wild (laughs) turkey. I would too. (laughs) Good point. All right, but um, I may be a scotch guy. I like scotch. I came to scotch first. I like the complexity of scotch, but I love bourbons. I like bourbons too. Matter of fact, some of my favorite whiskeys overall, I I love a lot of the Canadians coming out now. So, just because I'm married to Puerto Rican? This was 50 bucks. If you went into a store and you had 50 bucks, what are you going to buy? $50. I'm trying to think what scotch I could give for $50. I'm going to buy a hard bag. I'm going to buy a Lafroig. I will admit, I I'm love it. I'm going to buy something peated. Yeah, I I'm would love it. Oh, God. No, I could almost I, get a cast strength here's, Lafroig for, the, for <laughs> that. I would probably spend the extra I will tell you, I have really come around on the bourbons. <laughs> I really I have. bourbons. Um, my journey into whiskeys was with scotch. Um, when I drank bourbon, it was, you know, Jack Daniels with Coke. Um, you know, younger, younger days. Keep saying bourbon. And, it's Tennessee, uh, that's Tennessee, Tennessee whiskey. whiskey. I know, right. but... Uh, I know some people say it's still When I drank bourbon. whiskey, that, you know, it was Jack Daniels with Coke. Okay. Um, my wife accidentally bought me scotch. I started <laughs> drinking it. It led into the scotch journey. Well, we started I let, it, I, I let a couple scotch tastings. We started, we started a couple scotch tastings. We started doing the scotches, and right. then we thought, let's branch off and start doing some bourbons. And at first, Definitely. I was not as wild on the bourbons. But we have done quite a few now, and I've had some good ones, and I've had some not-so-good ones. I'm still wanting and to I, have, like, I'm, a crappy I, one. And actually, several times at, at home, it used to be at home at night, if I wanted a drink, I was going to the scotch. And there's been a few times here lately I've gone to a bourbon. There's a lot of times I go to the bourbon. Hmm. I zipped through the 81 and the 101, and then what did, uh, matter of fact, um, oh, da, 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 Buffalo da, Trace? Corsair. No, Corsair. No, the Corsairs. Now, I know that's not a yeah. regular bourbon. It's it's actually a single malt. But uh, they had their, I think they're a single malt. I don't know. They do all their odd things. They had their Armageddon, which is a rye blend. Rymageddon. Hello, Rymageddon. Sorry, not Armageddon. And then they had their triple smoke, but their rhyme again. I kept zipping through that darn thing. Okay, um, so I I don't know. I like what I like. I 
Uh, my point is, I lean one way. If you were, I, I still lean scotch. But there are plenty of nights. I'm telling you, there's. You know, in the nights. most part, I would tell you if I'm in a bar or a restaurant, we were out, you know, a couple of weeks ago for training, and we went to bars limited selection, and I chose Wild Turkey 101. With what Good call. Um, 101 and a lot of. And most times, though, I lean buck. towards scotch. I'm going to get a scotch, but I looked at what they had offer to, to offer, and, and the Wild Turkey 101 was there, and I took it. Um, but I guess my point of the story is don't be afraid don't don't limit yourself don't say I like scotches we don't say I just like bourbons and you I know what like I read scotches. recently I read recently I can't remember where I read it about it might have been in the whiskey advocate I can't remember um, or it could have been online I can't quite recall but they were talking about how back in the day Kind of like how you have a brand of toothpaste and you use that brand mm. the, your whole life. There were guys that would not only, I don't care if it was scotch or bourbon, they picked a brand mm. and they didn't branch out from anything. Yeah. So you're not even talking little, they're not moving from scotch to bourbon, bourbon to scotch to Canadian. Yeah. They're picking yeah. stag and nothing yeah. else. Old Crow. Yes. Mm. Well, Did you're, it. Got it. Old right? Crow. Old and they're Crow. saying this new generation these millennials these 25 24 whatever to 34 year olds are jumping all over the place they're trying everything mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm reading this thinking okay that's not our generation we're not the millennials but you and i have always tried yeah a lot of stuff we're all over the yeah. place i'm not married to um lafroig i love lafroig but i like our bag i'm not even married to pete's mm -hmm. i like to branch around i'm not married to i mean all the craft distillers. So, on that note, it is a open mecca. Loving it. Yeah. Loving it. Yeah. Matter of fact, I think we need to start reviewing some dirt cheap stuff. It was. Just to see if I can give real, something like a 10 like you did. Real quick, though, and we'll move <laughs> on. We'll, we'll move on to the stag. I'll tell you, and at first, when we started doing scotches, and we were just doing scotches, and then we kind of branded, we did a couple of bourbons. Well, first we started then, doing the world whiskeys. And, well, we did like I think four roses first. Oh yeah, and maybe something else. But then and then we started branched off, and then Irish whiskeys came in. Right, and then an Indian distilled. whiskey. Yeah, the Amru. And then a Taiwanese whiskey. I started saying passion. And a Japanese whiskey. <laughs> right. Canadians. I yeah. mean, it's and they're the all Australian good. from There's some delicious good Solomon's Australian. Cove. Exactly. Oh, love so it, anyway, love it. all right, let's move on to the. Uh, first. That's so enough. It's an open world. Don't. Get tunnel vision and no, just try no, one thing. No. Who would even want to in today's world? Yes. Open it up. Watch okay. us and then go watch some Justin Bieber. You shouldn't even limit We're, yourself when you're doing <laughs> when you're doing YouTube shows. <laughs> All right, what do you get on the nose? Bruno? Okay, I'll tell you on the nose. Real I was short, Justin Bieber. In. I'm gonna keep mine short here because you blathered on there for a Please. little bit. You were talking all existential. Cherries. Really. Wood, caramel, okay. cinnamon, okay. and a dash of rye. Now you're funny. You're funny. Now that you say caramel, I actually get it. Or I mean cherries. On my notes, we always drink this stuff ahead of time. Spend about an hour with it. I've got caramel, the burnt sugar kind of caramel. Mm -hmm. Notice I switched to caramel and toffee. And I love toffee. Mm -hmm. I can see where you're getting the cherries now that you mention it. There's definitely like a cherry coke. Wow, I'm and I wonder if there's a cherry coke in there. The rye, though, oh, I wonder if that's, that's just good. because of how hot it is, ABV wise, at sixty-four percent. Is that just the spiciness of the alcohol, or is yeah. that the spiciness of a rye? I'm not smelling the rye, so I definitely get the there. cherry though that you're talking about. Yeah. So I'm glad, like I said, I get a cherry coke, yeah. that caramel, burnt sugar. Love the toffee mm. on the mm. taste, man. I'm telling you what, wow. 64% delicious. I wouldn't prefer to drink it that way, <laughs> but it is good. And it's similar to the to the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection at 69%. Ooh. It is so full, wow. it's so rich. That is powerful. The flavors that are there, that, that chocolate and the caramel, mm -hmm. um, the oak, cinnamon. Yeah. Um, the vanilla comes through. And that's neat. Right. Um, and I'll take another sip of meat, even though it's strong. Vanilla, spicy cinnamon. Right off the bat, it's like, boom, spicy cinnamon. The pepper, both from the alcohol. You're right. I get a little, 
little bit of coconut at the end. Love the coconut at the end. Wow. Delicious. And uh, that's the trail. I'm getting the coconut right now. I mean, I've, I've, you've seen me swallow, and uh, I'm still, still getting the coconut. Mm. Love it. I love Sorry, it. you want that? I do too. And I haven't, uh, you've had this for a while. I bought it, I tasted it, I gave it to you. Yeah. It's been here for a while. We're finally right. getting around to testing it. It has been. And it's as delicious as I remember. He bought this, left this here. I tried it twice. Had my notes done, had it covered, had a couple questions, but I was afraid that if I kept going back to this, <laughs> it'd be half gone. And he'd be like, what the hell? <laughs> okay, because I could have spent some time with this. Mm. Because you left this here, and I had enough for my notes, I went out and got the, I went out and picked the, what did I get? Oh, the beam. I went and got the beam, the oh. brown rice, and I picked up something else. I made sure I got some bourbons because I was also hitting your Elijah Craig. But uh, this mm. was delicious. I had to back off of this because he trusts me with these bottles. Whew, it's a good bottle. It's a, it's a good, good bottle. I can honestly say when I get my bar up and running, I will always have a bottle of this sitting on there. Mm. Mm. Pillar. Good call. Pillar. A pillar. It's a, one of the P's of pillar. <laughs> it's one Ethical, of the P's. purpose, <laughs> pride, power. One of the P's. Anyway. Pistolier. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, good. The, with water, it brings out more of the sweetness, the brown yeah. sugar, mm -hmm. sugar, the brown sugar, sugar that's in there, uh, and, and a lot, little bit of that slight spiciness, right. I think, brown from the rye. Brown sugar. I know you keep saying, mm. keep saying rye. I don't just, necessarily get just because there's a little bit of a slight spiciness in there, black sure. pepper or that rye spice. Yeah, I definitely just a little the, bit. Uh, yeah, the rye and the pop I get might be the ABV and toffee. Yeah, the toffees. Mm. God, I'm a toffee fan. Yeah. And that is that is all over this. <clears throat> wow. So redheads. Did you ever date a redhead? Have you ever dated a redhead? No. Oh uh, yeah, you know. So. There ain't no there ain't no contemplating. No. I married my first wife was a redhead. Like real note, real quick, because uh, unless you go back and watch Mitzi's surprise video with Talisker. <laughs> was that the Here's, Talisker 10? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wasn't that like episode Mitzi's 10? Mitzi's surprise. It was, was top 20 or anyway. Something. Yeah. One of our first 20 brutal. ones. Brutal. Brutal. Bart, Bart comes home from work one oh day. Oh my God. This is the Cliff his, Note version of yeah, my divorce. Yeah. And his wife says, I <laughs> got a job in Kansas City. And I'm like, woo, when are we moving? Bart says, well, I wasn't really thinking about moving, I guess, but all right, when are we moving? And she says, we ain't. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Now, that's the Cliff Note version. It was a little more painful than that. Now, what happened, though, the, the day Mitzi before. Surprise. No, the it was, day like, before. It was like a week before. A week before your so mother-in-law calls you She crying. calls me, yeah. My, my, my wife at the time goes to visit her mom. She, obviously, mom had she obviously had told her right she's telling her i'm gonna coming. i'm gonna leave bart yeah right and she calls me blubbering yeah. my mother-in-law i've always had this gift the girls that i date seriously or married apparently uh their mothers love me mm. all right she calls me blubbering like like her nose is running and she can barely talk and she's like oh, i'm so sorry and i'm like are you okay what's going on i'm sorry i can't believe i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm like what's going on i thought she was drunk <laughs> i thought she called me drunk and i'm like what and she's like oh i, I gotta go i think like, yeah she clicked she like realized i didn't know huh. and then the, you didn't think nothing of it. I was a little odd, though. The ex-wife, the odd. wife of the, at the time comes home. I'm like, hey, is your mom okay? She said, yeah, great. Why? Why? I'm like, well, didn't you just see her? Yeah, yeah. She's good. I'm like, well, she called me and she was bawling. Oh, really? Um, I don't know why. I know. I should have. I, I was just, I, I didn't see it coming. Yeah, but she, she got you then, even. What? 
your wife at the time. Well, she should you were have told like, me you're... right there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. Why didn't you tell me right there? Yeah. So, well, I just she told her I'm leaving you. Yeah, 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 I just told her I'm leaving, I'm leaving you. Yeah. you. I'm See leaving you. you. I haven't had a chance to drain the bank Jackie. account yet. Yeah. <laughs> what is mom doing? Actually, she didn't drain the bank account. She was all right. It was the most... <laughs> that divorce cost $75. Oh, and we split it. <laughs> She was an IT professional, so she did it up herself back when that was new. She found the documents, did it up, and our divorce cost $75. And she said, I want this over clean and easy. What do you want? I said, the house and everything in it. And she said, well, that doesn't sound fair. I said, I don't want to get divorced. She said, done. <laughs> cool. She did bring up, what about that TV? Because my old boyfriend, before we ever met, bought it for me. I go, is it in the house? Yeah, there you go, house and everything in it. <laughs> then she calls one more time, my best friend said you're ripping me off. She was at like the club and I go, yeah, I don't want to get divorced. She goes, enough said. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've had buddies that are go through these hellacious divorces. I tell them the story and they're like, I hate you, man, I hate you. I'm like, have your wife leave you because she gets a better job and gets a huge bonus. Yeah, I mean, she right. just wants to be done with you. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. So aren't you? Dummies. Good recap. That was great. You're rolling. <laughs> Is it in the house? Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. My team. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies, Toothpicker, <laughs> coming to you with some George Backers. T. Stagg Jr. Why is it Jr.? Because it's not B-Tac. <laughs> I don't know why it's Jr. I don't know. I think, I think that's his name. I think that was George Jr. T. Stagg Jr.? Yeah, I think Jr. was the one that came up with it, his papa. No. This well, is we've his had, own bottle, Jr. Okay, admittedly, I had not had George Stagg Jr. And we fell into a bottle, basically, of the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, the George T. Stagg, right. at 69.1% ABV, which was delicious. Probably the best bourbon I've had. Yeah, you were a fan Love boy. it. You're a fan boy of the Stagg b yes. So anyway, this had been on the on the shelf at the liquor store, and, and, uh, and I'd been thinking for a while. I loved the, the B-Tac edition. We need to pick this up and try it. Mm -hmm. Did not realize that this also is 64 point turkey for sure. I don't know about. Well, that's because they gave me the truck reserves. and the boat. Never, no, they didn't really <laughs> give me that. But if they wanted to give me something that says, I don't care if you do the whole logo painting along the truck with the boat, I'd drive it around. It's wild <laughs> turkey. Well, I would too. <laughs> Good point. All right, but. Um, I may be a scotch guy. I like scotch. I came to scotch first. I like the complexity of scotch, but I love bourbons. Mm. I like bourbons too. Matter of fact, some of my favorite whiskeys overall, I, I love a lot of the Canadians coming out now. So, just because I married a Puerto Rican? This was 50 bucks. If you went into a store and you had 50 bucks, what are you going to buy? $50. I'm trying to think what scotch I could give for $50. <laughs> I'm going to buy a hard day. I'm going to buy a Lafroy. I will admit, I I'm love it. I'm going to buy something that's peated. Yeah, I I'm would love Oh, God. No, I could almost right. get a cast strength Here's Lafroy for the, for the head. I would probably spend the extra I will tell you, I have really come around on the bourbons. <laughs> I really I have. bourbons. Um, my journey into whiskeys was with scotch. Um, when I drank bourbon, it was, you know, Jack Daniels with Coke. Um, you know, younger, younger days. Keep saying bourbon, and, it's Tennessee, uh, that's Tennessee, Tennessee whiskey. whiskey. I know, right. but, uh, I know some people say it's still, when bourbon. I drank whiskey that, you know, it was Jack Daniels with Coke. Okay. Um, my wife accidentally bought me scotch. I started <laughs> drinking it. 
it led into the scotch journey well, we started I a, I, I I led a couple scotch tastings. we started we I started up a couple scotch tastings. we started doing the scotches and right. then we thought let's branch off and start doing some bourbons and at first Definitely. i was not as wild on the bourbons but we have done quite a few now and i've had some good ones and i've had some not so good ones i'm still wanting and to I, have like a, a crappy I, one and actually several times at, at home it used to be at home at night if i wanted to drink i was going to the scotch and there's been a few times here lately, eight five yeah, percent. Very I think. high ABV. Um, Where is it at on here? That's the, like in another area. It always the buffalo. Me. The buffalo. Yeah, sixty four point eight five percent ABV, which is blows me away. Right. It's very um, strong. You get a lot of bang for your buck. Oh yes. <laughs> well, we'll go into that. But yeah, I mean, from the I, I was blown away blown away by the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, George Stag, and this for a fifty dollar uh, bottle of bourbon yeah our notes are coming up right <clears throat> now and even you admittedly now every time i get on bart because every time we review a bourbon he goes yeah i'm not a bourbon guy uh, I'm gonna if I'm spending my money, I'm gonna buy a Talisker. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a you know, Lafroig. I'm gonna buy an Art Bag. And I go, well, what are you even reviewing bourbons? Now, for? first of all, you've called me a shill for Woodford Reserve and Wild Turkey. You, I believe. <laughs> well, Wild. <laughs> I've gone to a bourbon. There's a lot of times I go to the bourbon. Hmm. I zipped through the 81 and the 101, and then what did? Uh, matter of fact. Um, Oh, da, 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 Buffalo Trace? Corsair. No, Corsair. No, the now, I know that's not a yeah. regular bourbon. It's it's actually a single malt. But uh, they had their, I think they're a single malt. I don't know. They do all their odd things. They had their Armageddon, which is a rye blend. Rymageddon. Hello, Rymageddon. Sorry, not Armageddon. And then they had their triple smoke. But their Rymageddon, I kept zipping through that darn thing. Okay? Um, so, I, I don't know. I like what I like. I... Uh, my point is, I lean one way. If you were, I, I still lean Scotch, but there are plenty of nights. I'm telling you, there. You know, some in the most part, I would tell you if I'm in a bar or a restaurant. We were out, you know, a couple of weeks ago for training, and we went to bars limited selection, and I chose Wild Turkey 101. With what Good they had. call. Um, 101 and a lot of. And most times, I lean buck. towards Scotch. I'm going to get a Scotch, but I looked at what they had off 